Oh no. Kai Gurley Castle played a key role in Anglo-Welsh relations. It was from here that the David Ab Griffith attacked the English in 1282. This led, led to the final conflict, which resulted in the loss of Welsh independence. Between 1273 and 1276, Llewellyn Ab Griffith, Prince of Wales, refused to pay homage to the new English ruler, King Edward I. Edward's forces pinned Llewellyn down to the mountains of Snowdonia. He was stripped of most of his lands, but was allowed to retain the title of Prince of Wales. Llewellyn's disinherited brother David had hoped to gain from Llewellyn's defeat and fought on the English side. His prize included the Lordship of Hope. Um, in 1277 to 12, uh, 1278, David built his castle at Kaigerli. Edward provided a hundred marks to assist with the costs. In 1282, David changed sides and decided to attack the English. He did his best to knock down Kaigurley Castle to make it difficult for the English to use. Good on him. <laughs> yeah. On Palm Sunday, 1282, David led his army from Kaigurley and captured the English-held castle at Harden. The Welsh rose up against the English and Llewellyn joined in. Edward Edward I's English troops invaded Wales for a second time. Llewellyn was killed at Bilth Wells and his head was sent to Edward I, a bastard. Davis was captured and was hanged, drawn and quartered. An English workforce rebuilt Kaigurley Castle. On the 14th of February 1283, Edward granted the castle to his consort Queen Eleanor. An accidental fire damaged the castle on the 27th of August 1283. The heyday of Kaigurley Castle was over. In the course of this conflict, Edward bought the rest of Wales under English control, ending Welsh independence. That's the story of this castle. Oh yeah, if you if you hold this, look how it's look how it, look what the Welsh have done to this. Look how they scratched out all the English fucking faces. Look, yeah. Look, they scratched his earth and down here where the where English where English troops invaded Wales for a second time. To Ellen was killed at Belfast and his head was sent to Edward the First, the fucked hard. And that. Yeah. They scratch your eyes. See how the see how the Welshness is still here, man. Tell you. Yeah. Fucking hell, yeah. But like borders is borders, but I mean people have died for them. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. If you hold this camera, man, it's pines for us now. Very slow. As long as it's on this tripod, it's pretty still, eh? Hey. It's pretty still. It's on the tripod. If it's on sitting on the tripod, right there. I think it's on the tripod, right? This one. It's a piece of the iron chair, look. Piece of old, oh, yeah, old archway. That's an old archway, yeah. Now, there's nothing, uh, the key to it that was on that thing, wasn't it? Yeah. But it wasn't really a very big key. I mean, it's a shame we haven't got a. That was a good. Um, this is where the floor level should have been, look at these post holes. Yeah. In the walls. Where's the fireplace on? Is there there's a piece of natural rock over here? Falling part of the castle here. Piece of natural rock I use. Old stone and you need to in it. Yeah. Yeah! King of a goddamn castle! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Carl, it's good to be there. Hey? <coughs> I never shot this one before. Oh, this one? I didn't even know it was here. Hey? <laughs> I didn't even know it was here. I need that bit on mine, Carl. What's that? That introduction. Oh, yeah.
Right, we're in Kaigurli Castle in um, Kaigurli in Re near Wrexham. And I've just read the storyboard for Carl. He's also doing it YouTube as well. Lovely views from up here. Cool views, eh, Carl? Yeah. Just before we've been testing the zoom rate to the cameras then. Right, I'm going to read the storyboard of this castle. Right, I'm going to 